this one. Yeah. I, I, very little to add to Bertrand's comments. A couple though. On, on European banks, uh, it's, a, it's a cliche which has to be killed about the poor wealth of European banks. Actually, there are some very specific good news last year where a failing uh, Spanish bank was resolved with no comments. I mean, it didn't even make the press. So the system is beginning to work. And I think there is no bank in Europe which uh, creates a systemic risk. I'm sure of that, right? So the banking system is in good shape. Now, as Bertrand said, uh, there is a problem uh, in terms of profitability. You have to keep in mind that in Europe, uh, the banks, bank credit uh, account for roughly two thirds or 70% of the economy, uh, the funding, funding the economy against the reverse in the US. So it's quite important. So uh, it is true that the profitability of, bank, of banks in Europe is affected, partly because of the vagaries of the capital markets, partly also because of the competition in the retail market and the fact that low interest, very low interest rates are not a very good thing for banks in terms of, of margin of spread. On the other hand, if I may cover it now as, as well, I mean, rather than later, uh, on the other hand, banks are reacting, especially French banks that I know better, are reacting to the technology uh, impact in, in several ways. One, they are reducing costs, closing branches, uh, uh, you know, re reforming, reorganizing. Two, they're acquiring startups. BNP Paribas acquired a couple of, of uh, di direct banks, you know, uh, very light banks which allows them to get around the legacy problem that they have with, with IT. You know, the, one of the problems of banks is there are huge IT systems which are not that flexible. <laughs> so the one way around it is to acquire new brands. Uh, as, no, uh, last month, or I guess, yes, last month, uh, Orange, the, last, the largest uh, telecom operator, uh, launched a bank in France, which is real competition, and they were ready for that. So I think the banks, are facing these difficulties, difficult times in relatively good shape and adjusting, right? Uh, I mentioned the FinTech revolution. There is an uh, amazing number of FinTechs uh, in, in France, certainly, and in Europe, which are really changing, I think, the environment, which have very positive news. And to come back to France and Germany, <clears throat> somebody mentioned this morning that uh, Mrs. Merkel said that uh, we have to take, to take care of ourselves. Let's not wait for the U.S. Uh, on defense, especially, and other matters. Well, I think France now is realizing that it has to take care of itself and not wait for Germany. So, and I think this is what's going, going to happen. The, the reforms which have been started have changed the climate uh, completely. I mean, there is really a new uh, enthusiasm, you might say, you know, a new feeling that, yes, we can. Yes, we can, right? And of course, I'm sure that we will ask the Germans to do their part, and I'm sure that we say no, or something like, which amounts to no, right? And we have to do what she says, Merkel, with the U.S. We'll have to find our own way.